Hey class, I'm Mr. Thornton, and I'm going to help you get that C in your GCSE. This lesson, Static Electricity. Terrible. But if we can learn one thing from former X Factor USA judge Paula Abdul's weird interspecies relationship with forgettable cartoon rapper MC Scat Cat, aside from the fact that the early 90s were a strange and terrifying place for us all, it's this, that opposites do attract and that's particularly important when you're talking about static electricity. There are literally hundreds of different examples of this being used, but let's look at a few of the more common ones and I'll show you what I mean. Let's start out with an alpha particle, which of course also shows up when we talk about nuclear physics. Hello! Yes, hello. It's just like the nucleus of a helium atom, with two protons and two neutrons. Hi! Hi, yes. Neutrons, of course, have no charge, and protons each have a plus one charge, so our alpha particle has a plus two charge. Or to put it another way, a positive charge. Hi! Let's fire our alpha particle over a negatively charged plate. What's up? The alpha particle has a positive charge, the plate is negative, and just like Paula Abdul and MC Scat Cat, opposites attract. Hello. So the alpha particle is attracted towards the plate. Hey you guys! Now let's swap to a beta particle. A beta particle is just an electron, and like all electrons it has a negative charge. Right. Okay, so the flip side of opposites attracting is that like charges repel. Important word there, repel. It's the same as with magnets. Opposites attract and likes repel. Electron? So, rather than the path of our electron being attracted towards the negative plate, it's repelled and curves away instead. Of course, if we switch to a positively charged plate, we'd get opposites attracting again. Electron! And that's half the story with static electricity. Electron! We can use this idea to control the direction an inkjet printer squirts ink onto a page, to more efficiently paint metal frames, to remove particles from smoke in a chimney, and countless other applications. It's all just opposites attract. And when you touch a Van de Graaff generator and your hair sticks up, light charge is repelling. In fact, static charges that are either positive or negative can even attract small particles that aren't charged at all. Through a fairly complicated process, it's really just opposites attracting, but you don't need to worry about exactly how it works. Just be aware that small particles like dust, photocopier toner, streams of water, and even small bits of paper will stick to a static charge. The other thing you need to know about is how to build up a charge. Firstly, it only happens with insulators like glass, rubber or plastic. If you used a piece of metal, it would conduct the charge away. So you take an insulator, rub it with another insulator, and one of them tears electrons off the other. Wherever the stolen electrons end up gets a negative charge, because electrons have a negative charge. And of course, wherever lost electrons Electron! gets a positive charge. This happens on a small scale if you wriggle around in a car seat so your clothes rub against the seat material, then get an electric shock when you get out. It also happens on a massive scale in a thundercloud. So that's it. Any static charge questions we'll be looking for. Opposites attract, small particles will stick to a static charge, and if you want to build up a static charge, then you need to rub two insulators together. That's all there is to it. I wonder if Paul Abdul and MC Scat Cat are still together. I hope that video was helpful to you. If it was, click just here to watch a related video. If you click just here, then you can see all of my videos on all of the different topics that I've covered. If you click just here, you can download my Android app to help you with your revision. Or if you click just here, then you can subscribe to my channel and get updated every time I upload a new video. Don't forget to leave comments and likes below. Uh, good luck in your GCSEs, and thanks very much for watching.